In this tutorial, we'll show you how to get started with the Alibaba Cloud Max Compute service. Max Compute is the computational engine that runs DataWorks. DataWorks is a front end integrated development environment, or IDE, that requires Max Compute for its back end computational processing. A lot of what you can do on the front end with DataWorks, you can do directly with Max Compute via a client console. We'll show you that here. Although we will briefly touch upon DataWorks in this tutorial, you can learn the full details of the DataWorks IDE in another tutorial. You'll need an Alibaba Cloud account. We'll assume you already have one. We assume you have an access key and any role access management setup that may be required by the service. You'll have to buy and activate Max Compute. We'll show you how to do that. If we need to pick a region, we'll use the Silicon Valley US West region. Buy and activate the Max Compute product from Alibaba Cloud. Go to the Alibaba Cloud Max Compute product homepage and click Buy Now. Choose your region and click Buy Now. Confirm the service agreement and click Activate. Wait for the success notification. After a few minutes, click through to the console. This is the DataWorks console. Here you create the project that you will access with the Max Compute client. Select the region and service and click Next Step. We have picked Data Development, O&M Center, Data Management for our Quick Start tutorial. Add the details for your project and click Create. You will see your new project in the project list in DataWorks and in the DataWorks IDE console overview. Download and unzip the latest version of the client console from here. Open it out and you will see the following directory structure. You have to fill in the details in the ODPS underscore config file. Open it in your favorite text editor. Complete the following information. The project name you already created. Your access key details, the ID and the secret. These you can find in the access key section of your user console the endpoint URL details. You can find the URLs per region at this link. Now, you can run the client in the bin directory. For Windows users, run the bat file. For Linux users, open a terminal window in the bin directory and run the application. Let's run a few SQL queries and check the logs. Now, let's check the DataWorks front end to see if the table was created. The operational objects of Max Compute are tables. To process data with Max Compute, we must create tables that hold the data. There are some restrictions to the syntax, data types, and size. Please see the documentation for details. Let's create some tables. Create a partition table. Create a table with a life cycle of 100 days. Except for the lifecycle property, the other properties of test 3 are completely consistent with test 4. This operation will create test 5 as a copy of test 2, but the partition and lifecycle information will not be copied to the object table. You will see all the tables in DataWorks too. Here's a command to create a table containing user information. Use desk to get a description of a table. Use drop to delete a table. Let's add a partition to the user table. To drop a partition, just change the wording around. Check the documentation for more table queries. To import and export data into tables with the Max Compute console, we use the tunnel command. I've saved some offline data in an example.txt file that I've put inside the Max Compute client's bin directory. Let's import the file into a new table. First, let's create a table that will hold the data. The table wc underscore in here contains one column called Word, which is of string data type. Upload the offline data file to the table with the tunnel command. First, Make sure you have the tunnel endpoint details for the correct region in the configuration file. These details can be found here. 
Then run the command to tunnel in the data. Now you can query the data in the table. Please see the documentation for the full Alibaba Cloud SQL syntax rules, as there are some differences to common SQL syntax rules from other SQL languages. User-defined, MapReduce, and Graph functions for Max Compute are currently only supported with the Java SDK and Maven plugins. We will examine using the Java SDK for Max Compute and other Alibaba Cloud products and services in future tutorials. Be sure to check online for more white papers, blogs, and tutorials on Max Compute with the Java SDK and Maven, as well as other Alibaba Cloud products. Thank <music> you.